What's up, y'all? Y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all all right? How many of y'all go to that Muhammad Ali funeral? None of y'all went to the Muhammad Ali funeral? I mean, I watched it on TV and shit. I put on a suit. But, uh, that's about as close to Louisville as I was getting. You know what I'm saying? They on the first 48. It's rough down there and shit. For real. But uh, I was watching it, you know, and out of all the people they could have interviewed, they interviewed Mike Dan Tyson. And they ain't had no subtitles. Yeah, this show was rough. Ooh, I was like, what the fuck? He was like, Fred, I want to thank all of you for allowing me to be here. I want to thank you. Thank God a lot for allowing me to be here, you know what I mean? I came all the way to clear my schedule, you know, I'm supposed to be in Vegas. <laughs> so, you know, I'll leave my be here, I want to thank you for inviting me and Will Smith for being out with Paul Mears. It was like, what about Don King? He was like, I don't fuck Don King. I was like, hell no. Y'all good? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I had to make sure y'all was with me and shit. I hear like a little undertone and shit. Like, why don't you just inbox it, dog? You can't inbox it? Y'all ain't right here together? You can't inbox it? No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you. You hang up. God damn, you can inbox it, can't you? Never mind. Hang up. I don't want to mess with you. You got earbuds in here. I'm the real gangster boy. He's from the 90s, boy. I got earbuds. My uncle, I got out. My uncle got out of jail. He did 15 years. I gave all that nigga all my new old clothes. He had the clothes from 2002 and shit. He had that pure players on and shit. I was like, damn, I ain't seen that since 2000. Got on that Sean John Valor suit with them church shoes, boy. Couldn't tell him shit. That nigga had on my motherfucking platinum fubu and shit. I was like, damn, Uncle, you make me want to put that back on. You know, them old players, they throw a hat on with anything. He was like, I look good, nephew. I'm about to go get them skeezers tonight, boy. I'm about to get them. I'm going to get them. They got me on the Facebook. I don't even know a book or a face. They going to get them. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Shit, you killing me, man. Old folks get me, man. They always want to talk about back in my day. Back in my day, we got more weed for five dollars. Say, well, you know, back in your day, the weed wasn't like it is now. Had sticks and seeds in that shit. That weed now, boy. Whew. I smoked a blunt for four weeks. Weed was so goddamn good, man. You ever mess around and put a 93 in your tank instead of 87? Yeah, I did that two weeks ago, man. I'm still catching the bus, huh? I'm going to savor that gas. I'm going to savor it. For real. That premium, woo, shit. That shit real, boy. That shit real. How many of y'all watch Sports Center? Sports Center? Sports Center? It's an analyst on Sports Center that I just really don't understand because everything he says is very haterish. It's never nothing nice. And then a nigga always want to get smart, use big words and over talking nigga. He say, oh, I mean, come on, I mean, LeBron James, I mean, come on, Skip, did you see him last night? I mean, 41 points, I mean, uh, come on, uh, 41 points, I mean, come on now. I mean, Steph Curry had not do a thing with LeBron James last night. I mean, come on, did you see him, Skip? Did you see him? I mean, come on, look at him. The Miami Heat had Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and they also had LeBron James. But come on, Skip, they had Mario Chavez. I mean, come on. Fourth quarter games on the line. You give the ball to Mario Chavez, and you got LeBron James. Can you believe it, Skip? Can you believe it? I mean, come on here. 41 points, LeBron James, I mean, they won the first title for Cleveland, I mean, Cleveland's a football town, I mean, come on here, I mean, come on, I mean, you just gonna rub his belly like that, in broad daylight, <laughs> shit, I mean, hey, yo, you, must be nice, having someone new, are y'all here together? Oh shit, y'all better be, she better be like that. Hey, you got a sister? Cousin? 
First cousin? A niece? I mean, you might be 35, you could have a 23 year old niece. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, he asking for a brother. Shit, hook him up. Shit. That might be, <laughs> that might be what he <laughs> For who? Oh, no, I don't, I don't play butt games like you, sir. I mean, you just, I'm asking for ladies, you asking for men. Do you got a brother? You got a brother? <laughs> I mean, I, I like gays, though. I like gays. I do. I do. I like. No, 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 no. No, no, listen, 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 listen. Studs is putting real. Stud, no, seriously, Studs is putting real pressure on the black man. For real. They don't mind marrying a bitch. For real. They don't mind. Nice they don't mind at all, for real. They don't mind. They don't mind marrying this, for real. They don't. I just got into an altercation at Burlington. I'm in the big and tall section. Got the last pair of 48s. She gonna talk about, well, you know I'm a girl. I said, well, if you a girl, you in the wrong section. This is the big and tall. <laughs> this ain't the plus size. That's down there. Hey, you wanna be a man? <laughs> I'm gonna treat you like that. <laughs> For real. Me and my side chick got into it the other day. Um, it was rough. She uh, tagged me in a post on Facebook with her husband. So now this nigga in my inbox asking me who I am. We arguing back and forth, spelling shit wrong. You know. And I was just like, look, cuz, I'm her gay cousin, Dante, man, just chill out. I don't even want to argue with you no more in my inbox. Like, how can you inbox another man? Yeah, who is you, cuz? Uh, <laughs> shit was rough. Shout out to all the light skinned ladies in here. Light skinned ladies, make some noise. Okay, we got white girls in here. We got light skinned girls in here. We got light, light skinned girls, make some noise. Fuck y'all. Y'all done messed up each other. Y'all supposed to do that two days ago. <laughs> For real. How many of y'all got kids? Round of applause. Y'all got kids? Okay, let's see. Let's do this. How many of y'all got one kid? Not yet. No. Okay. How many of us got two kids? I ain't. No, 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 no. no. Two kids is too many. That's too many birthday gifts. Niggas trying to keep them step kids. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I can't get everybody George in a three day span, you know what I'm saying? You fuck around, you got a kid on the 12th, the 11th, and the 15th. Woo, that's one check. That's one check. Hey, no, but it's a difference between hood love and real love. Y'all know the difference between hood love and real love? See, real love is love, honor, and obey. Hood love, you know what I'm saying? You get to catch her between soul hands. Catch her with them goddamn snake braids in her head. Now that's some real hood love, boy. For real. Fuck around, sleep one night, wake up, her eyelash stuck to your pillow with some blue on it. That's hood love. For real. You be like, bitch, you got alopecia? You ain't gonna tell me all this stuff. <laughs> okay, man, my soul now, I'm get that. We're gonna move on. I'm tired of these ghetto ass weddings, man. Um, I really am. I mean, going to the courthouse is cool and everything, but you know, my cousin they had a wedding that was just whew, a reception that was just so big. They ain't had no punch bowl. They was putting cans of pop on all the table. Everybody arguing over the Pepsi and the Sprite and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is getting mad because they got to drink Tahitian treat. Ain't nothing left but the hugs. All the old folks mad because they sugar high. Ain't nothing but hugs left and shit, man. You done been there before. You know what I'm saying? You be mad as hell. You gotta mix your liquor with some hugs. This fuck I wanna mix this goose with a great hug for. Just, 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 just bad. Oh, man. You ever been so hungry? You know what I'm saying? You was mad? You ever been so hungry you was mad? 
Hell yeah. You walk in your love one playing, like, why are you playing? Stop playing, I'm hungry. I ain't ate all day. Like, that's the worst time to play with somebody, man. You know, when they hungry and shit. And I remember I was so hungry, man. I was 11 years old. My mama walked through the door like, why are you sitting there? I'm like, because I'm hungry. She was like, you ain't make no ramen noodles. I ain't want no ramen noodles. But you got to use that voice like you like you about to get a whooping voice. I ain't want no ramen noodles. Why don't you make some sugar? I ain't want no sugar. And that's exactly what she said. When you ain't hungry, I ate, I ate two bowls of cereal already. I don't want them more. For real, man. I'm going to get out of here, man. But I got to tell y'all this, man. I'm old school. I don't know how many of y'all in here is old school, but I'm old school. I'm old school to the T. You know what I'm saying? I got kids, I got nieces, I got nephews. You know what I'm saying? And I watch it, you know, all the time. And so I watched them this particular day. You know what these kids had the nerve to do, my man? They challenged my old schoolness. They said, Uncle Tom, why don't you come out here? Play with us. I said, you know what? I'm too old to be playing with some goddamn kids, but I'm gonna smoke this blunt and I'm gonna come outside and I'm gonna play with y'all bad asses. So I went on ahead and I kept my promise, right? So I went outside. I'm from the 90s, so I had to do what we did in the 90s. You know what we did? We played goddamn high and go seat. So you know what I told them? I said, I'm the dish here since I'm old school. Everybody put your feet in. So we put our feet in and I went on around the circle. I said, bubble gum, bubble gum, me in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? They was like, what? Uncle Tom Tom got bars. I said, oh yeah? <laughs> well, let's see if this rap catch y'all. I said, ooga, ooga, black, ooga, 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 out. They was like, what? So I did it again, but I used my Rick Ross voice. So I was like, oh, ooga, ooga, black, ooga, 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 out. Oh, ooga, ooga, black, ooga, 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 out. They was like, Uncle Tom Tom got bars. So I said, okay, that's two raps. Let me hit y'all with this last one I hit him. But I said, oh, shit, here it come. My mother and your mother was hanging up close. My mother sucked your mother in the nose. What color was the blood? You know what they said? Red. I said, R E D spells red. That means you are not it in this game of high end go see. Hey y'all, that's my time. I'm talking to And Calvin, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't do them AA meetings though, man. Them shits was fucked up. Like I was in the little halfway house and shit. You had to go to them. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers will make you have a problem, yo. Know? They like be fucked up, like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't really allowed to tell what be going on, but you get the picture. Like, man, alcohol might not be your problem. <laughs> your uncle fucking your mama was the problem, but it just tricked out worse from there, you know what I'm saying? It be bad, like, man, and then, and then I did what I thought I would never do. I never thought she would have did any of this dumb shit you've been talking about. What the fuck?